And a big welcome back to the Ask Coach Phil Now show alongside Kelly Phil Now. I'm Dave Erickson. Today's topic has to do with finding motivation. This comes from Jackie, and Jackie writes, Kelly, I'm struggling to find motivation to get out the door and work out these days. Would you recommend boot camps, or are they just like recess for adults? Hi, Jackie. Thanks so much for the great question. I think that during the winter months when it gets a little colder and it gets dark, it's easy to have that motivation. So what I definitely recommend is doing some kind of class like a boot camp class and, you know, bringing a friend along too. So that friend is depending on you to get up at 6 a.m. and be there. That helps with the accountability and helps the motivation. So when the alarm goes off, you're there because she's expecting you to be there as well. And the boot camp style classes are ph- phenomenal. You can get a great cardio burn and you know work on some strength training in a short period of time and get good bang for your buck. So if you're not if you're struggling to get to the gym and get that workout in, I would highly recommend some kind of class, whether or not it's a boot camp class, it's meeting a friend for, for a hot yoga class, Pilates at the gym. And um, just even or even, you know, just um, it's a great way to meet new people, too. And if especially if you're extroverted, it's a great way to get that workout in while seeing people. Talk to me about the structure of a boot camp class. What is it? How does it work out? Typically, the coach will start you with some kind of dynamic warm up, make sure your muscles are getting nice and loose before you start a little bit more of the intensity and a lot of times there's high intensity intervals and so you'll you know do quick bursts of speed you'll do you know something like burpees which are great cardio um burns for and also you'll probably be implementing some maybe box jumps and then suicides which are really fun you're you're if you're in a gym you're going from one line to the next and sprinting back and forth so it might be 10 yards the first sprint and then 20 yards a second sprint. And so you're going to be constantly moving the entire time. So it's a phenomenal workout. And it's also a great way to um, create some (laughs) new muscle soreness all over your all over your body. So you don't have to necessarily come from a specific sports background to take part in a boot camp. No. And the great thing about boot camp class is there's a wide variety of backgrounds. Sometimes, um, I've been to boot camp classes where there's former former college athletes like football players and then some stay-at-home moms who don't have any experience with an athletic background. So it's a, it's a very diverse group and some people will have their strengths with maybe the sprints and other people maybe with the push-up series, but um you know really you don't have to focus on what anyone else around you is doing. You just focus on what you can do and typically the the coach will give different, um, you know, say for instance, you can only do push-ups on, on your knees or say you have a knee issue and you can't jump on this box, then they'll have an alternate, um, workout or just move for you to do too. So it's not intimidating. Yeah. I was just thinking about it. It could be intimidating for some beginners or maybe people who are in their, you know, forties or fifties or late thirties who want to try something new and like, wait a minute, all these athletes are out here jumping on boxes, doing line touches. Uh, would there be different skill levels within boot camps? So maybe different groups. There's definitely going to be a wide range of skill levels and any good coach will you know, if, if you're new, they'll ask you who's new today. And you can even talk to them before class and say, say, I, say you have a knee issue, just tell them that you'll have that you have a knee issue and you can't do certain movements. And they will always be able to recommend different exercises. So no one's looking and watching exactly what you're doing. So it's really just, you know, all about doing the best that you can do and getting a workout for yourself and n- not comparing yourself to the person that, next to you that might have been a college um, you know, running back, but just focusing on, you know, getting better every day and getting it in better shape. Is there a way to gauge your fitness? And I ask this because I'm aware of the CrossFit style workouts where after a, they're, they're, all the workouts are never the same. And it, eventually you kind of come back to one that you did maybe two months ago. Are these always a potpourri of activities at boot camps? Yeah, but it's also good to have a um, starting point. So even just before you're getting into boot camp classes, maybe just doing a a test set for yourself so you can kind of track your progress and see how much fitter you're getting. So maybe, you know, see how many 
push-ups you can do in a minute. See how many sit-ups you can do in a minute. See if you can do any pull-ups. See how many burpees you can do. Maybe time yourself on a mile. And then every four to six weeks, just do that test again, repeat it. So even if the instructor's not doing, um, you know, having certain test points, I think it's super important for you to do it on your own because then you see your progress and that creates more motivation too when you see yourself getting fitter. What's the price range of a boot camp these days? You can have free boot camp classes, maybe at your local YMCA. You can have um, up to maybe twenty dollars a class if it's a specific, um, you know, maybe not at your local YMCA. So, yeah, I would say anywhere from free to ten to twenty dollars per hour. Okay, great tips, and uh, sounds like it's always something new and exciting to to try. Exactly. If you have a question for Kelly, use the hashtag AskCoachPhil now on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. Kelly, thanks a lot. Thank you so much.